Hello guys, it's me Wild, and today I'm going to show you how to make a game with Phaser. Alright, so first of all we need an ID. Alright, so you want to head over to Google and type in Sublime Text 3 or 2, whatever you want. And uh, go to the official website and download according to your OS. Now, once you got this set up, uh, you just want to open the ID, alright, and you're gonna get something like this, alright. So what you wanna do is go to File, New File, and then you, you wanna save it. Um, Control Shift S, yeah, save as. Alright, and uh, sell workspace for yourself. So I'm just gonna make a folder called Tutorial, right? And let's save as index.html right? Because this is gonna be the layout of our website And then um, then we can get into the game, right? So let's go to where we saved our workspace uh, HTML tutorial um, Let's make a new file and save this one as main address. That's all we want to do at the moment. Um, all right, so in our index uh, we wanna uh, actually. All right, you see where um, at the bottom right there should be a language name. I just make sure it's set up to uh, HTML. Uh, mine is for some reason to PHP, uh, but it's still gonna work. So just type in HTML and uh, control space. This should pop up. Um, and the title, uh, it doesn't really matter what you name it, but um, I'll show you what it does in a second. Uh, let me just get up. Uh, Alright, so what you wanna do to launch it, uh, you just drag the index.html file into your browser. And this should pop up with a path to uh, your file location. And as you can see, the title of the tab is tutorial because we set it up in here. Alright, so we need phaser, right? Let's go to, let me open a new tab, uh, phaser.io. That's the official website. And go to download. Then download phaser from GitHub. Uh, I'll just fork it. And then this should pop up. And just click on min.js. And then say file. Now, once that's downloaded, just drag it over to your folder. Uh, mine's name 2 for some reason. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. So now we got phaser in our folder. Now we need to hook these two scripts up to our HTML file, to up to our website. So the way we do that is uh, we make script tags, script, uh, and then we do type to tell it that it's um, JavaScript uh, file. I cannot type script. There you go. And source is. Um, yeah, phaser.min.js, open the tag and close it. And then, okay, first of all, you always want to do the framework first. Like, don't set main first, just set up phaser first. So, just copy paste it. And do the same thing for main. Alright, so they're all set up right now. Alright, so we're done with the index file. We can close that. Alright, now with the main file. Well, I, uh, we can use uh, phaser in a main file. Uh, so the way we do that, we need an um, instance of our running game. So the way we do that, we just make a variable uh, that holds uh, our game. And then make it 800 by 600 pixels. And then our renderer is going to be canvas. Make sure it's caps, and then we need a uh, element for the uh, website. Doesn't really matter what it is. I normally use it. Uh, game dev. And now we need our main state. Uh, so what is um, going to is to think of it as an array 
of functions and uh, then we can just run that um, state of which holds um, all these functions uh, it'll make sense in the future <laughs> so right now we're just setting up uh, basic functions uh, one of them is preload which lo which runs before the game even runs so it's useful for um, opening up uh, images loading up images things like that so next thing uh, we want to create function which will uh, add things to our game so like if we want a picture this position then we call it there and now we need an update function which uh, is going to be happening every frame so yeah if we want um, I can't think of any examples um, a moving character if you press an arrow key or something uh, we would put in here since it's doing it every frame I don't know it will make more sense in the future Alright, so now we need to run this main state. So we declared it, and now we need to run it, right? So in Phaser, there's this thing, this awesome thing, where you can run different states, right? So the game the state dot add, and then main state this is the ID for it, is the actual name for it. And then we can just do game that say that start um, main state. All right. So what did we do here? We took an instance from our actual running game. We accessed uh, our states, and then we added the state, which is going to be this array of functions. And then we just start from there. All right. So that's all. You can save it now. Control S and look in the look in your web page and refresh. Yes, and this black square should come up, which is 800 by 600. Let me show you that. Then see 800 by 600. Yeah. So great. Uh, next episode, we're actually going to be adding uh, pictures and stuff to our game. So yeah, thanks for watching, boys.